He's one of the few Wildcats has already stolen a base. One for one in that category. Filled it on a hop by the shortstop. Long throw for Greer, and he makes the play. Two Good men play gone. There. Though it does move the runner around to third, and now Kentucky, in addition to those two hits and four at-bats. Lines one, into right, backing up play. on it, and it's going to be over his head is the right fielder. Rounding second and thinking about it is Seba, and now he's going to try for it. The relay throw is not in time, and Daniel Seba second. has a triple for the Upstate Spartans here in the bottom of the second inning. They have a runner 90 feet away with one out in the inning. As the one-two pitch is delivered, ground ball by a diving third RBI. baseman into left field. Here comes the runner. He will score, and Upstate takes an early lead against the highly ranked Kentucky Wildcats, one to nothing. Are set for the payoff pitch. Here it comes from the left-hander. Swung on miss, strike three for the second time in the ball game. Flag still whipping out to left center field. Here's the pitch to Weber. Lined by a diving shortstop, Rita, and into center field. It'll get down. They're going to send Stamp where he will score. It is 4-2 as the Spartans strike for the second inning in a row with a run here in the third, and they'll continue to hit with Daniel Saba, who tripled in his last at-bat. With plenty of baseball left at this point. Breaking ball, inside corner, called strike three. Augenstein comes in and strikes out Lucas Witt, one of the hottest hitters on this Kentucky team, to retire the side and leave them loaded upstate. And here's the 2-0 to Miller. Miller puts Pretty a bat on shot. it, skies it into left, backing up on it to left fielder. He looks up. This one's over the wall. It's a two-run home run that just kept carrying for Upstate, and it's a 6-4 baseball game. The Spartans were a little deceived that that one went over the wall. The left fielder for Kentucky certainly deceived, and Lucas Witt that that one went over the wall. But we've talked about the strong wind that is blowing out of here. Center fielder and leader of this upstate team. Tough play. Lifts That's one good. over behind the third baseman and into left field for a base hit. Coming home is Stampler. That's the single we were just talking about. And it is a 6-5 game as Gaither Bumgardner doesn't do the most devastating thing you can do, but he finds a hole for it just inside the left field line. And he could give the Spartans the lead or at least tie it with a base hit. Grounds one through the hole, RBI. base hit. We're tied. They're going to send Bumgardner from third. The throw is going to be cut off and upstate. Leads the Kentucky Wildcats by a score of 7-6 with a big run scoring inning here in the bottom of the four. And 260 plate appearances for the Wildcats in 2012. Swings through this pitch. And Augenstein is able to retire the leadoff hitter in that Kentucky lineup for the second out. Another big strikeout for Augenstein. A run 90 feet away that would make it an 8-6 upstate game if he could make it materialize. Skies one into left. See if they the send the run. runner on the tag. They will. It's going to be deep enough to be a sacrifice fly. And it is an 8-6 USC upstate lead after the – he was a 3-23 hitter last year and. 20 appearances for the Wildcats, and he swings through the 3-2 pitch and goes down on strikes. Big strikeout for Chad Sabatka, his first since entering the ball game, and it puts two outs up on the board with a runner in scoring position. That's the difference in the ball game right now. No doubt. Richardson's work with the glove, a big part of this and game, and he sends one high and deep into left. Left fielder looking up, and it's gone. Trey Richardson continues the early season onslaught with a two-run bomb off the subway sign here at Cleveland S. Harley Baseball Park in Spartanburg, and he makes it a 10-6 upstate advantage with a two-run homer here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Spartans extend that lead, John. Player of the year. He's the preseason selection. Swings through this one for a strikeout. The throw down to second gets away and into center field. So Spartans tried for the strike them out, throw them out, double play to end the inning. Instead, it's just going to be the strikeout. He's done a nice job. Now his third inning of work. Still pitching in the eighth, and here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Sabatka coming back to get A.J. Reed, and for Sabatka, that is his fifth strikeout. <laughs> 